What's up, everybody? Give me a second. Make sure everything's going good on my end. I think it is. Let me see. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Welcome back to the Rangers franchise. Hopefully my internet is not as bad yes as it was yesterday. If you know, you know. But we have the year three for the preseason. As you see, we have a 75-man roster. I got everybody signed who I wanted. Bunch of undrafted free agents. Bunch of guys. We're going to look at the scouts first. We have Ricardo Marsh looking at quarterbacks from the West. Reggie Wayne, the legend, looking at wide receivers in the central area. Ralph Scott looking at running backs in the southeast. Meg Wilson working on the North lineman from the northeast. And Charles Woodson, our national scout. Of course, we don't have the prospects yet, so we don't know who's in the class just yet. But let's also go, let's go over some of our new roster members, shall we? All right, let me see. Quarterbacks. Derek Carr will be our main guy for right now. He's guy who's going to be, you know, he's our week one star. He is. But if he starts struggling, he's getting benched. Question is, who will replace him? We have rookie John Grant. The possibly the future of our franchise. 22-year-old from Louisville. Hopefully he is our guy. Then we have Gardner Minshew. He's going to battle for the second string because he has the experience still. He is a very experienced quarterback for backup roles. He's been in the Jaguars. He's been on the uh, Eagles. He's been around. So hopefully he's good for us. Also, Jack Cohn. He's going to be battling for a practice squad spot. He was on third string last year. He's kind of, you know, he's, he developed him a little bit. I don't know if he's there yet. But he'll be competing with undrafted free agent Tyler LaRubio from Mid-10 State. I love his... The only reason why I picked him up is because of his name. His name is amazing. So he will be our, you know... He's, these two are battling for practice squad spots. Let's be honest here. Running backs. We get main guy Josh Jacobs. He's he had a bit of a down year last year. We still got re-signed. He's had three thousand yard seasons in his career. One one nine hundred yard season. I ain't too press the ballot. Hope he can do better. Also, our, one of our big free agent signings, Tony Pollard. You know he's had, he's never had like a crazy rushing season, but he's a dual threat. Has been used really well in Dallas lately. Only two receptions and nine there. But when he's used, he's pretty solid. Hopefully he can do for us. Next up, signed running back J.J. Taylor. He's, you know, he's from New England. He's got a little New England experience in him. He had 100 yards last year and a touchdown. Not something too impressive, but hopefully he can be around for a little bit. Let's see if he competes in the preseason. Sincere McCormick, our third string running back from last year. I see, he did not do very hot on the ground last season, but it's okay receiving. Then we have Trey Regis, who's this might be his last shot to make the roster. Poor Trey Vegas. Fullback, Elkin Gold, as always. Wide receivers, Hunter Renfro. You know, he's the 8th overall now. He had a down year last year, his worst year of his career. Hopefully he can fix that. He is a starter. Same thing with Brian Edwards. Last year he went in, you know, as a baby star, and he had a thousand yard season. Get those touchdowns up, and he'll be a true number one wide receiver. Isaiah McKenzie, who will be out for the first game of the preseason, he came in as our you know number two guy, and he was solid. He had nine touchdowns, eight hundred thirty eight yards. That's solid year for me. We have Zay Jones. He's going to be competing for a spot. This might be his last year on the roster. I do not know. Depends on how far he regresses. But John Mechie, the rookie we picked in the first round last year, hopefully he's on the rise. He did not do like crazy last year, but he was a solid receiver when he was on the field. Next up, Joseph Nada. He's another guy who didn't select too much time. 6'4", 48 yards. Let's see if he can make the roster. Looks like one of the most interesting stories in draft, Caleb Burrows. He was projected first to second rounder, and he fell to the fourth or fifth. I want to see why he fell, so he's absolutely going to be competing. Then we have Derek Vasher, a projected third round who fell like to the sixth. So I think it'll be interesting to see. 
Then we picked up Undead Free Agent Racy Kid for name reasons only. I mean, he's 199. What was, what was the speed? 8 cent speed, 91 agility. He is not exactly a speedster, but he should be alright. Tyann's Waller, M Moreau, Moss, and Parham. That has not changed with long snap for Trent Sieg. A tackle, Colton Miller, Prince Tega, and Jalen McKenzie. McKenzie was a practice squad last year. Left guard, John Simpson, Theo Munford. Munford has been kind of an in and out as a star. We'll see if he finally solidifies his place. But if Simpson solidifies his place with left guard, we'll see if Munford makes a switch over to right guard for Leatherwood. And we picked up Uncharted Free Agent Cole McIntyre, just to see if he can make a practice squad if he impresses me enough. But we'll see. There's no Diamond West, he did not have a good rookie campaign. Got benched from Andre James after not allowing nine sacks. I think Andre James still is looking like he's the star. And he's only got four sacks last year in the starts. We have picked up Tristan Cole and Castillo. He's kind of just a practice squad body, to be honest. Leatherwood. His overall does not speak for his talent. 78 is a decent overall, but he has not been doing decent. He's on 22 sacks in two years. I'm not happy with that at all. And he heard big. We'll see if he can, you know, maybe start. Hopefully, he has some experience in Philadelphia, so hopefully he can bring that to us. Then, so Okafor was a practice squad last year. Right tackle, Morgan Moses. He's looking like the star, but we don't know for sure yet. He will play in a preseason game. See how he does. Seth Sherman, our hidden potential right tackle, who's looking like the backup at the moment, but maybe he can take over. We'll see. And we have Brian Young, you know, the rookie we drafted, and Aaron Frost from last year. Those two will be competing for a practice squad spot. Left ends, Max Crosby, our Max Star, ain't even a contest. Like, it ain't up for doubt. Then we have, you know, Malcolm Kuntz, who was really solid last year in his limited snaps. Like, he was surprising to me. See, he allowed, you know, five tackles and five tackles and a forced fumble. How many played? And look, he only had 301 downs. Blade. That's pretty solid to me. Like, that is solid to me. We have Rillian Brad King, who's about practice squad, you know, legend. He's, but he's not, hasn't made the main roster. We'll see if he finally, you know, breaks in. On the right side of things, we have Yannick. He is a star without a doubt. Patrick Jones behind him. He was on the of practice squad last season. Maybe he makes a 53 man this year. And Dante Stills, who is also a practice squatter. Now, D tackle. Clean for all has made the switch over to D tackle. He's our highest rated D tackle with that. Solomon Thomas behind him. Tristan Hill, who is injured. He's out for two weeks of broken finger. Hopefully, he can come back in at some point. But he's, he's going to be fighting hard for a spot. Terry Smith, a rookie, you know, he should be alright. I think he'll be alright to tackle. And then Bravian and Roy, who is a who is a preseason buy, he'll probably be cut after week one if I find a good free agent. But hey, Javin White, left outside linebacker, he's looking like he's gonna be the starter this year. With Delshawn Phelps behind him. And so in a uh, Brandon Landry, undrafted rookie who we picked up, he's a rusher. At least at the moment, I don't know what I what I really want to do with him. Best way I can put it. He, I don't really see him making a, a practice squad, but he might. Who knows? The linebackers, Paramount's probably going to be his last dance with us. He's dirty. He's getting older. Morrow behind him. He's saw he was a good linebacker last year. Smith, you know, he's good for fill in and Dylan Moses who's here. Diablo, we're starting a right outside linebacker with uh, Davion Taylor behind him. At corner, we have um, then we have Trayvon Mullen, Kyle Fuller, AJ Bouye, and they Hobbs, the top four. So if we start with our stars, we Mullen, Fuller, and Hobbs. Bouye will come in as the number four guy. We have Daniels, we have Robertson, and we have Macho Harper who is injured. So we are we have three injuries to start off the, the preseason. So I think that would be interesting. Free safeties, we have Trayvon Merrick. He is a starter without a doubt. Roger team are behind him, and then rookie Victor Lamb. Strong safety, Abram, starter, with Harry Gillespie behind him. Carlson and AJ Cole are the kickers and punters. So I think we have a very interesting team. 
I don't know who's also going to make it, but I think it'll be interesting. I exhale by accident. We're going to take a look at the Bears roster. Justin Fields is turning into a solid quarterback, looks like. 24, he's still young. Yeah, he's a good quarterback. So we'll see what happens to him. We will be seeing a lot of Jared Stidham this year, however, in this game. Yes, he is their backup. He hasn't really done too much. He got 8 yard passing yards in New England. 17 the year before that. He has not done much at all. Running back, Steve Montgomery and Tariq Cohen with Khalil Herbert. And a bunch of rookies and uh, a one-year... That is a name. Z Zazavin? Zazavin Valde? Get that right? They have no fullback. Man. They have Allen Robinson, Darnell Mooney, MVS, Alec Pierce. He gave us some issues last year. Isaiah Coulter, KJ Hill, one of our former players. And Demetrius Robertson. We have Cole Komet, Greg Dolchich, Real Mallory, Jenkins starting left tackle, Whitehair starting left guard, Michael Deer starting center with Mike Miranda behind him. Angelo Murray, the rookie, Larry Boehm there. Uh, James Daniels, the only right guard. Billy Turner at left right tackle with George Fant. They have a very veteran left right tackle group, except for uh, DeCluse. They have to end the Keem Hicks still around with Jeremiah Weston, the rookie behind him. Arson Larkin and Cameron Malvo behind him, or Malvo. Uh... Bill Nichols is a starting right end with uh, Nathan Barnes and Kenny Willikies behind him. Goldman and Tongos are the D tackle starters with Isaiah Briscoe and Star Latillier. 33 year old Star Latillier still has a job in this league. Wow. Khalil Mack, you know, we already know about him. Travis Gibson, uh, DeAndre Hart, Asmar Bilal. Raquan Smith, Brian Asamoa, O'Shane Ziminis, uh, Mac Wilson, Robert Quinn, Dante Jackson, Jalen Johnson, and Cameron Sutton are the main cornerback core. That's a solid core. Kendall Vilder, Oscar Bowden, Rashad Walgoose, Tyler Mims, Kirk Steele, and Max Vernon are the depth pieces. Eddie Jackson is the free safety starter, and Jaquan Brisker is a strong safety starter. Kicker, they have no kicker. How do you not have a kicker? How do you have 33 year old Starry Latelier and not have a kicker? So, what is O'Pun going to be kicking? Michael Polardi is a new kicker, or is it Ryan Stonehouse? That is a punter name. All right, well, that's interesting. The Chicago does not have a kicker. All right, first, actually, let's go to the injury report just so we get everything summarized. Harper's out this week, McKenzie's out this week, and Hill is out for the next two weeks. Bears have no injuries. All right, I think it's time we have the roster. I think it's time to get this thing started, shall we? We are in Chicago for this one. And as a coincidence, because the last year's preseason game with Chicago, I think, is going up on YouTube as we speak. All right, Justin Fields, Tonga. I think we have an interesting, you know, team go this, uh, for the preseason. They want some interesting stories, you know. A lot of guys, I'm interested in seeing what they can do. Hi, up, everybody. And this used to be a big rivalry back in the day. Like you know, in the eighties. We have Minshew Mania in Vegas. Well I guess in Chicago, but you know what I mean. We are punting first. I did I did change the thing so it will be a switch on for kicking or punting every week. Tariq Cohen receives it, and out comes Justin Fields. We are not playing really too many starters. We have some on offense, some on defense for, for the first quarter, 
in the first quarter, there will be no more starters. Except for Nate Hobbs. I think Nate Hobbs is getting a lot of distance in this game. Because we don't have that many corners. Well, Fields now. Lined up at the 25. Breaks the handoff. Drops back. Looking around. Pass is complete for the short pass. Tackled by Merrick. Five yard gain. That was Greg Dolchich on the reception. Fields shots back. Looks for man through. He's got one on the curl route and he drops it after the tackle. We got his Kyle Fuller at with 23. Let me see. Is it? As we play, Fields fix the handoff. Third, in third, third down. Looking around. Pressure coming throughs. And that is broken up. Abram went. 23 is 4. And the Bears have to punt. Let's see. Is that Pollard or McCormick taking it? I think it's Pollard. You know it's McCormick. And now we have Gardner Minshew, the legend. Hopefully, you know, he can ball out. We'll see. It's preseason game. Minshew snaps it, hands it off. That did not go well for Pollard. Loss of one. Second like 11 now. Minshew looking around, moving around the pocket, and he's running. Slides. Five yard game. Minshew looking around, and he is sacked by Khalil Mack for a big loss. Damn. Well, Minshew's first drive didn't go too well. We take it in, take it out to about 38. I'm just putting my link on, uh, I'm tweeting this out basically. There. All right, good reception and that's a first down. And off, gain of three by the running back, David Montgomery. All right, field, shots back. Takes the handoff, looking around, no pressure. Wide open, Allen Robinson, covered by Nicholas Morrow. Why do we have a linebacker on the number one receiver? Anyways. Fields now. Takes the snap. And that's a dead play. Second down on the Raiders 32. Fields. Heavy set. Looks like a run play. And it's a pass. Fields again chased down and he gets sacked. Clear and furl. And Malcolm Kuntz get to him. Fields gets sacked. Now third and 19 from the 41. Fields will drops back. Pressure incoming throws. As tipped up in the air. Great defensive play by Mullen. And here comes a kicker. Like, oh, Pyron who's kicking, I guess. And he's short. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Who's that? Tucker McCann? Where was he on the roster? Did they just give them a kicker just because they didn't have one? So <laughs> you got Tucker McCann. Handoff. 
Pollard gets six. Second and four. Yeah, Pollard gets six. Second and four. Good run there. Gets him out of the negative. Takes the hand off to Pollard. Minshew looking around. Scrambling. He gets he gets tackled, but he's moving around. He gets one yard on the run. Minshew now. Rolls out. Quick pass. Complete. That's Brian Edwards. And that is a good gain to the 23. 20 yard reception. Minshew Mania, come on. Minshew picks the handoff. Look around. Those. Gets it to Pollard. And he fumbles it. Oh my God. Wall on the tackle. But Pollard, man. Chicago gets the ball. Fields fakes the handoff. No pressure. All the time in the world. Pressure's finally incoming. And Kuntz gets to him for a sack. Kuntz now has one and a half sacks on the day. Cowboys shot the Chargers. Love seeing that. Even in the preseason. Fields off the back foot. Goes deep. Goes very deep. And that's going to be P.I. Mullen, come on, man. Fields now at the Rangers 32 after the PI call. Handoff, and he's got a wide open lane. Shakes Mary Golf. Eventually, think now, but it looks like Morrow and Abram. Fields. And off. Looking around, throws, goes to the end zone, and that is caught for a touchdown. That was a hell of a catch. Who's that? MBS? Yep. Fucking Sean McVay and as a Chicago Bears coach. Who was on him? I can't, I couldn't see who the player, our player is. Fuller. Aw, oh, Fuller. Tucker McCann for the kick. And it's good. Alright, we our offense has not looked good with Minshew out there. Minshew has looked bad, the rest of the team has. Kick out to the 20, and it's time for Minshew's possibly, possibly his last drive. Minshew drops back, looking around, throws, quick pass to uh, Zay Jones, gain of four. Well, three actually. Carolina beats Baltimore. Minshew looks around, has a man. As a first down, Brian Edwards that time. Mitchell has, has been perfect. He has not missed a pass yet. Don't be commentators, Jinx. Hand off. Hell of a run by Polly there. That's a first down. All right. Less than one minute left on the clock. Hand off. Oh, it doesn't get much there, if it, nothing at all. Second and ten. All right, Minshew now. Possibly is maybe his last play. What will we pull out? Quick pass to Zay Jones. Zay Jones gets a little juke going, and that brings him to five for five. Minshew had a hell of an appearance. He will get this last play apparently, and then I will exit out, and we'll get the second quarterback, second uh, quarter team in. Good run by Pollard. Uh, that was JJ Taylor. I forgot all the backups came in. Well, time for a little bit of a different look. John Grant is the quarterback going in. Running back is JJ Taylor. Uh. 
Wide receivers. Let me see here. I have all my uh, sheet. I mean, all my uh, one notebook. Zay Jones will be moving to number one. I'll just do that. Zay is number one. Renfro will stay at the uh, slot. And I have John Mechie moving to number two. Who's our number four? It is Nada. All right. Tight ends, Moreau is checking in. With Thaddeus Moss behind him. Left tackle, it will still be Prince Tega. Alright, McKenzie will be after halftime. Left guard, it will still be Munford, I believe. Yep. Uh, Donovan West will still be here. Uh, right guard will still be... Who is it? Herbig. And right tackle is Seth Sherman. Uh, left end will be... We got uh, still got Malcolm Kuntz in there. He's had a hell of a game. Right end will still be Patrick Jones. Patrick Jones has been very quiet. The tackle will be uh, Soferl and Thomas. I mean, I did have it different, but then, you know, somebody got injured. Uh, left, left outside is still Javin White. Middle linebacker is Morrow. So that's good. Right outside is Diablo still. Cornerbacks is Kyle Fuller at the one. So the Fuller, Bouye, Robinson. Wait a minute, who's my uh oh no Daniels will be number number four. Merrick still checks in here. And Abram will still be our strong safety. I'll just make sure, you know, all this is right. Yes, Taylor. Taylor. No. Uh, it will be Renfro. Where is he? Am I blind? Yeah. I'm blind. So, you know, very interesting team so far. Solid offense, defense... Meh, but it's our backups mostly, so I'm not too pressed with it. Uh, Moses there. My slot corner is still Nate Hobbs. So... There we go. Got depth chart together. Let's begin quarter number two. All right. Future of the franchise, John Grant on the center. Handoff. Good run by Taylor there. Get seven. All right, second down. Grant hands off again. That's a first. No, that's McCormick on the run there. Why is McCormick getting snaps? Grant moves around, throws for the first time, gets it to Moreau, loses one. I need to investigate why uh, McCormick is out there. Yeah, JJ Taylor. I there's no reason why McCormick's out there, unless JJ Taylor is tired. That's the only way I can think of. All right, Grant, Booze, quick pass, complete. Moreau again, he gets that one yard back. Third down, Grant has not been looking great. He hasn't thrown a pass for more than a yard. Third down, Grant. Look around, off the back foot throws, and incomplete. All right, Carlson now for the kick. And 
it's good. All right, score is seven three, Chicago. And we'll see them get the ball first. I mean, I I don't mean first. Why I say that? I don't know. Back up. Jared Stidham and he's getting sacked. Coots again. Two and a half sacks. This man is a monster. He might be getting some more snaps in the regular season. I'm going to be honest. He is balling out. And this time Furl gets to him. Third and 29 as Chicago's back up our line ain't shit. Hand off. Decent run. Gets nine, but it's not enough. They're punting. Fourth and 20. They're going to punt from around their own one. Punt at about the two, actually. And we take it about the 45, 40, 42. That's Sean Metsch on the return. Okay, hopefully Grant, you know, he, get, he got a little more comfortable. Hopefully he can start, you know, this out some punishment. Hand off, and that didn't work. Alright, so I can 12 now. Grant. Runs again. No gain, really. What, maybe a couple feet? But Grant, for the future of franchise, you are not looking great. He is going to the air now, and he's getting sacked. Looks like right now, Minshew is the favorite to be a backup. Because, my God. Uh, now comes the defense. The D and line, our shit wrecking crew, has been doing with our job. Especially Coots and Furl, they've been just monsters. Alright, Sidon fakes the handoff. Pressure incoming, throws. Wide open man. He's being covered by Fuller, looks like. That's a first down. 18 yard gain. Fields, hands off. He does not get much, gets two. Javin White and it looks like Kyle Fuller on top of him. Siddham looking around, pressure incoming, and he throws it away but gets it complete. Tackled by Smith and Hobbs, but that is a first down. Siddham now. First and ten goes back. Pressure incoming gets rid of it. Tackled by looks like Nick Morrow. Sit them hands off. Has a bit of a lane. That's to Cohen and Mary hits him hard. Third and one, and that is a two man warning. Mitchell's looking like he, he's a good backup right now because Grant is not ready, looks like. That could change the coming weeks, but that's Solomon Thomas getting to Stidham for another sack. Now come right out of field goal range and they have to punt. I will be streaming twice today, by the way, as we'll do the preseason week two later on tonight. All right. He's liked it. Gets rid of it. Caught. And McCormick does most of the work there, but that is a complete pass. 
Longest pass of the night for Grant. Second and one now. Grant drops back. Scrambling, throws off his back foot. That is caught. John Mechie. Now Grant's on to show a little bit what he can do. And off, fakes it, and he's getting sacked. Nobody was blocking. I'll blame Grant for a second there. Grant throws. That is complete to McCormick. Gets it to the 40. It's still third down. 38 now on the 40. Raiders 40. Grant drops back again. That is complete to Zay Jones. I believe he got seven due to four progress there. But that is not enough. That's fourth and one. And we are punting. Okay, Grant has a little bit of some flashes. All right. His, second, his third drive went better than his first or second. Shannon Smith said, fuck you, man. God damn, you can hear that impact. All right, sit them now. Last Chicago drive before halftime. Hands it off. And that does not go. Also, just going to drain the clock to zero and take it to the locker rooms. And they do. But damn, that Jim Smith hit hurt. All right, seven three still. Grant's drop. Grant's you know quarter did not go well at the start, but he looked better near after two minute warning. You know, third drive went better than the first or second. Minshew was perfect on the day. We get ball and start half. Take it at about the 5, bring it out to maybe the 21, 22. What did he say the 22? Was Josh Jacobs returning? What, what happened? I can't call a timeout, so we're probably going to get penalized here. I'm getting glitched. Yeah, I have no chance. We didn't have to sit through this one. Yeah. Why was Jacobs out there? Why? Why was Jacobs even out there? Okay, Jack Cohn will be taking snaps. McCormick will now be our main back. We was, you know, before, but now he's getting even more snaps because I don't know why J.J. Taylor didn't play much. I'm assuming he just did not have the stamina. John Mechie will be moving to number one guy. Joseph Nala to number two. And Caleb Burrows will be our number three. Who we are for, that will be Derek Vasher. Getting to a lot more of the guys that, you know, don't really have much behind them. You don't really know who they are. Uh, Moss and uh, Parham will be brought in. Left tackle will be Jalen McKenzie. Our backup guys are coming in, so who knows how that's going to go. Center is Tristan Colon Castillo. Right guard is now Denzel Okafor. Right tackle is Brian Young. Left end, William Bradley King. Dante Stills. Uh, Solomon Thomas will still be out there, but... Clean for all is hanging to the bench. Doshan Phelps will be out there. James Smith will be starring. Davion Taylor will be out there as well. Corners. Bouye will be our number one guy now. No Daniels will be our number two. With Amik as our starting slot. Actually, no. Nehaz will be our starting slot. Amik will be number four. And let's see... Yeah, that's about it. Free safeties. Now the backups come in. So Teamer and Gillespie. Uh, yeah. 
slot receiver is Caleb Burrows. Joseph Nada is number two, so it'll be Derek Vasher, not Nada. Vasher at four. And it will be Racy Kid at five. He tackles Thomas. We've got Roy. This is finally getting moved in a little bit. Slot corner is Nate Hobbs still. Onik will be a slot corner in the fourth quarter. Let me see return man. Why why shake ups a return man? Why? 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 Yeah. He was out there just to get injured. Like, what? Why, game? You hate Jacobs that much? Anyway, here we go. Jack Cohn now. Our third string quarterback from last year. See if he can win that practice squad spot. Hand off. Nice push off from the quarterback. Does not get much, however. Second and 12. Cone going through the air. Pressure coming foes. Complete the Moss. Gets two. Cone again. Third and ten now. Looking around. Foes going deep. And overthrows by a lot. Not a great drive for Cone there. AJ Cole punts it up. Picking at about the 25, while I was made to 27 by Chicago. Come on, now comes Sherrod Stidham. He's had a rough day getting sacked a lot. But there's a new defensive line for the Raiders. We'll see how that goes. Cohen does not get much there. Gets three. Stidham looking around. Throws complete. Gain of four. However, there's an injury to George Fant, the right tackle. I hate seeing near the preseason injuries, but next man up for Chicago. Stidham hands it off, and that is tackled by Solomon Thomas. Fourth down. Is punted up. Taking about the 17 or 18, brought out to maybe the 19. Not much there. Alright, Cone now. Let's see if he can improve on the drive. Hands it off to McCormick. Gets two. You know, hopefully, one of these courts will find the end zone eventually. Cone, booze, complete to Moss. And that's for a good night first down. That's a lot there. That'll be 17, I believe. Cone now. Drops back. Complete. It's the McCormick for about a seven yard gain. Second and two. Hand off, and that's a first down. Cone, hand off, takes it. Looking around. Cone getting the pocket clapped, and he gets sacked. But he waited too long. Cone now, second 18, drops back. Those goes deep. Oh, that could have been a crazy. Incomplete, third and 18 now. And he's getting sacked, yep. Weston gets to him, and that 
fourth and 27. It's maybe Coon's last drive if things don't go his wa our way. AJ Cole punts it. They're taking it about the 20, bring out the major 22. Tackle by Fuller. All right, fix the handoff, sit him. Look around, gets hit, he throws. Throw in the coverage and target missed completely. Second and 10, Stidham drops back. Looking around and he's getting hit as he throws, goes out of bounds. Good QB hit from, I believe that was Bradley King. That is a first down. Tackled by Nate Hobbs, coverage is by Noah Daniels. That did not go well for him. Third quarter now. Sit him, hands it off. And Abram gets to him. Isaiah Coulter on the handoff there. Drops back again. He looks and misses completely. Maybe somebody got a thing on it. Hard, it was hard to tell. Third and ten now, Stidham. Passing again. Complete. And shoves the man off, but he fumbles it. Picked up. I don't forget who 57 is, but that is a good fumble return. Dante steals his injured shit. Fifty seven is Dylan Moses. Damn, still is hurt. That's never good. Raiders takes over at the 17. Cone has a chance to get the first touchdown for the Raiders on the board. Hand off to McCormick. And no gain. Maybe a couple feet. Cone moves McCormick to the outside. Empty set now. Those complete to Moss. Moss gets it to the one, 16 yards. Moss is having a hell of a game. Cone hands off to McCormick. And that's a touchdown, first of the day. Love seeing that. Radio's now up 9 7, paying the extra point. And it's good. Radio's now up 10 to 7 and late in the third. All right. Taking the end zone, takes a knee. Sit him now. Going to the air still. Pressure incoming. Throws it. Goes out of bounds. Throw it away. Sticking down to 25 now. Sit him. Empty set. Quick pass. That is complete. Tackled by Dylan Moses. Third and three now. Quick pass again. That's time tackled by uh, 26. Let me check who that is real quick. AJ Bouye. Stidham makes the handoff. Wants the air yet again. Tons of defenders. Quick pass to the tight end. And Moses and Smith bring him down. Moses is playing hungry, man. I like seeing that. Quick pass complete. Man dodged it and is taken out of bounds. 
I just want to check the medical center real quick. Still says a shoulder strain. He is pretty much done for the game. Uh, not great for him. Still doesn't really do much, and now he's going to be doing it even less. So, as a result, Patrick Jones is now checking back in. And that is the end of the quarter.